One of the most compelling and plausible fears about global warming is the possibility of sea level rise. Environmentalists and some climate scientists point out that coastal cities, towns and other communities are the most vulnerable to the problem. Four degrees and we say goodbye to whole cities. The preferred policy of mitigation intends to slow and stop greenhouse gas emissions to protect the world's glaciers and ice caps. Blah, blah, blah. Policymakers believe that mitigation, if it is successful, will help to prevent damage that one estimate suggests may be as much as $100 trillion per year. And it will prevent 1.7 million square kilometres of land being lost to the sea, saving 187 million people from being forced from their homes. But these dramatic figures may not be realistic, and the understanding of sea level rise underpinning them may be false. Despite alarmist storylines depicting great tragedies, global sea level has been rising for thousands of years, and this has caused no problem to humanity as a species. And rather than becoming more vulnerable to changes in sea level, society seems to be much better at adapting to it than it was in the past. A recent study of satellite imagery concluded that since the 1980s, the Earth has gained more land in coastal areas than it has lost. Where sea levels do seem to be causing problems, there are very simple and cost-effective remedies. Whatever its cause, sea level rise is happening at a very slow rate, giving us plenty of time to build sea defences. In the UK, the Climate Change Committee estimate that less than £10 billion will be needed to protect the economically important areas of the UK's coastline. Adapting to climate change using sea defences of this kind are therefore one of the cheapest responses to the problem, in contrast to mitigation. And this idea, if it is applied worldwide, would cost just $48 billion a year, less than a sixth of the global video game market. This stark difference between the costs of mitigation of climate change and adaptation to sea level rise is yet more evidence that the climate policy agenda has been misled.